Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janice, if you're new. Today I put together some really cute, easy Dollar Tree home decor and a few beach DIY. So I hope you enjoy this video. So let's start off with the first DIY. For this DIY, I grab these from Dollar Tree, these cute little chalkboard signs and some little uh, stickers. And I'm gonna be using some Hobby Lobby craft paper. This is real easy to do and it comes out so cute for like a tiered tray. To place the craft paper down, I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge. I love this craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's almost like a French country farmhouse look to it, but it's perfect for a kitchen. Now for the other chalkboard sign, I'm just gonna use this craft paper, and this is also bought from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna do the same thing, measure it, cut it, and then place it down with some Mod Podge. I'm gonna grab those stickers and place down the blue bottle on the pretty farmhouse craft paper and I'm going to cut the flowers that are hanging over the top. So the other chalkboard sign has two sides to it, so I'm going to place down the green bottle and the gold bottle. Along the edges I added a little bit of antique wax, just a little bit. So I grabbed a little piece of wood. I'm gonna grab my marker and write out wine, $5. And then the other one I put on a little tag. It says half a crate. And I thought this was really cute for a tear tray. And that is it. And this is how it turned out. So this one we're going to make another kitchen sign. I grabbed this from Dollar Tree. It's a little home sign. They always carry this, at least my Dollar Tree does. And the little uh, square boxes from Dollar Tree, I just used three. So I'm going to be using the back of this sign. So I'm going to remove the little green wreaths in front and I'll save that for another DIY. Now I'm just gonna use the black chalkboard paint. I'm gonna paint those three little boxes with the black paint, just about one coat. Now I went ahead and painted the back of the board with ivory color. I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree metal ribbon and just cut two pieces and place them on each end of the board. To place them down, I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun. If you don't want to use the metal ribbon, you can always use like Dollar Tree uh, different color ribbons or you can do like paint some stripes at the ends just to make it pop. Now I'm going to take the black boxes that I painted and I'm going to hot glue them right down to the boards. If you don't like the color black, you can always paint it a different color, but I thought it was more neutral and I like black, especially on a white background. Because I'm going to be placing some greenery inside, I'm going to place some floral foam. I cut a couple pieces and just going to hot glue it inside. Now I'm going to grab some greenery that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to place some inside each box. Basil, thyme, oregano. 
So I was trying to make it look like they're little organic plants. So I use my Cricut and I'm going to place down the word one that says basil, thyme, and oregano. And this is so cute for a kitchen. And this is how it turned out. I think it came out really cute. For this DIY, we're gonna take this Dollar Tree sign and these little plastic dishes, they come like in a set of six. I'm gonna be using three. I'm gonna be using the back of the board, so I'm gonna remove the string. To paint the plastic dishes, I will be using this white paint. Now, it would be much easier if you spray paint it, but unfortunately it was like 10 o'clock at night, so I was not going outside at night. So I decided to paint it. It took about three coats. I'm going to be using Dollar Tree stickers. Now you don't have to use a Cricut, especially if you don't have one. This works perfect, so I'm going to grab the letters E, A, T and place it on the plate. You can use these plates for any other DIYs and you can spell out any type of word you want. They look really nice. I think they would be better spray painted, like I said, but you know, for this YouTube video, I think it looks great. And I'm um, just finishing off pl placing down the T. Now I'm gonna move into painting the back of the board and I use antique wax with a little bit of water. Try to make it look like real wood. I just want to create some lines. I'm grabbing a ruler and I'm going to use my black marker. Unfortunately, my black markers were not working very well. It's okay. I used some black paint to make some lines and some, I don't know, to make it look like real wood. I was just going up and down with the black paint, just blending it in. So as you can see, I added a lot of black here and just taking a baby wipe and just blending everything in. And I think it came out really great. Now I'm just grabbing some black paint. Just gonna go around the edges of the plates. I also added a little dab of black paint inside the plate itself off camera, just to give it a little accent color inside. I thought it was plain. Now I'm going to place the plates right on top of the board and just going to use my hot glue to place them down. I could have left it as is, but I decided to make a little shoelace bow using some Hobby Lobby ribbon. Um, when I placed it in front, I thought it was kind of thin, so I added another bow underneath it, and then I'm going to hot glue it to the top of the sign. I wanted to add some greenery, so I'm going to grab a couple pieces of some greenery that I got from Dollar Tree and just going to place a few underneath the bow and hot glue everything down. I think this came out super cute for your kitchen.
going to make a little cute, easy home decor sign. I grabbed this sign from Dollar Tree and some rub -ons. This is going to be the last home decor DIY. I'm just going to remove the backing from the frame because I'm going to place, they are, they look like wood tiles, but they're not. I got them from Hobby Lobby and they were in the kids area like for school I believe and it has two sides to them they were like $3.99 I thought they were well worth it 12 per pack so I'm just gonna place it on the board and get an idea where I need to cut it and then I'm gonna cut it down and place it down with some glue now because the third piece won't fit so I'm just gonna cut that right in half To make it easier, I'm just going to place it down with some hot glue. Because I didn't like the color of the frame, I'm going to use some antique wax with a baby wipe and just add a little color all around the frame. Now I'm going to grab the rub-ons and I'm going to cut out what I'm going to be using. I'm going to cut out, they look like little leaves or little flower leaves and I'm going to place that in the corner of the board. Now I'm going to grab the love, peace, and joy piece and place that down as well. I'm going to place it right back into the frame. This is so simple to do and it comes out really cute. If you don't like the color of the frame, you can change it. So I thought it needed some color, so I'm going to grab this. I pulled this off another Dollar Tree piece, and I'm just going to hot glue it right to the top of the sign. And that is it. This is so cute, so easy. I'm sorry, I keep bumping my table. <laughs> For this one, we're going to use the Dollar Tree house, a paint stick, and a little piece of wood from Dollar Tree. Now, I used this house before, so I'm going to turn it around after I try to remove the front of the roof because I don't want that there. I'm going to pry it off and just turn it around. I'm going to paint the back of the sign with the turquoise color and then I'm going to add a second coat and I'm going to add a little white to it. I thought the turquoise was just a little bit too dark so that's why I added a little white to it to tone it down. Now I'm going to place down the wording that I created on my Cricut. Just going to use a paint stick to keep it straight. Trees are dancing while the spring's still here. They don't make haste because they know what's coming. So I want to make a door for the beach house. So I'm going to use this piece of wood that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to mark it with my pencil where I need to cut it. And then I'm going to use my scissors. Now I went ahead and through the process and I'll show you what this looks like. But in the end I didn't really like it and I like to change things, that's me. All right, so I'm just gonna place the paint sticks that I cut in back and place it on top for the roof. Now I'm going to place down that little piece that I made for the door and you'll see what I mean. This looks, it looks nice and 
but I didn't like it. To me, a beach door looks more rugged, more, I don't know, worn, like ocean worn. <laughs> I'll show you. I used popsicle sticks at the end and made a cute door, and I think it fits better for the beach decor. So I want to add a little starfish. I grabbed this from one of Dollar Tree's mermaids. I'm just going to place it at the top of the sign. I still think it came out really cute, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when I use the popsicle sticks. I like it better. I mean, it's a preference, I guess, but you can make it either way. And this is what it looks like with the popsicle sticks. But your smile in the morning hours Okay, for this one, it's going to be really easy. I grabbed this canvas picture from Dollar Tree and this picture frame that I removed the glass. Now I'm just going to take it out of the package. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, place it on a piece of foam board because I don't have the backing to the frame. And it when I seen this at Dollar Tree, I was like, oh my God, this looks just like a beach decor. Like if you take your own paint and just create your own pretty design, but I like the way it looks, so I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. So here's where I cut a piece of foam board. Now I'm going to take the canvas and I'm just going to use some hot glue to place it down because it should hold pretty well once I place it behind the frame. I'm going to use some glue to keep everything together. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut everything that's laying over the sides. Just going to remove those little metal tabs so this way it has plenty of room for the foam board because it's kind of thick. Right back into the frame, flip it over and place a little glue in the back so this way it doesn't come apart. Now I'm just going to grab a little starfish and place it right in the middle of the sign. You don't have to place anything in the middle or you can place whatever you want. That was my choice. I figure a small one looked better and this is how it came out. Alright, this one's going to be another quick one. I grabbed this tablecloth from Dollar Tree in a the wood from Dollar Tree that I used before. And I always look for something at Dollar Tree that I can manipulate or make into something really creative. I thought this was really a nice tablecloth that Dollar Tree put out. So I figured I could do something with it. So now I'm just going to take that board that I used before. I'm going to repaint it with the white paint. Now I'm going to take that tablecloth and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, well actually I'm going to cut out, I'm going to cut out the turtles and a little piece of the coral. So large, I didn't want to like unravel the entire tablecloth, so I'm just trying to find a section where I can cut out the turtles. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. So this is the turtle I'm going to be using. And I don't know if you have seen this at Dollar Tree. The colors are very nice for a tablecloth and very realistic. So I'm going to clean up the edges with my scissors. Um, I'm going to do most of it off camera because it is really time consuming. It did take me about a half hour to do both turtles and some of the coral. So I cut out a little coral reef and what I'm going to do is um, take some Mod Podge Place some Mod Podge down on the board and, well actually I'm placing it right on the coral reef, but I do put some down on the board and I'm going to put some over the top as well. Now I'm going to take the turtle, it's like a half a turtle, I'm just going to place it in the corner.
So I cut another little piece of the coral wreath and just place it down. I do move it because once I place the turtle down, it was kind of in the way. Now I'm going to grab the big turtle and you can see I'm trying to place it on the board and that coral wreath is kind of in the way. So you'll see I will move it. <laughs> but I think this comes out so cute and you know, you'd be amazed what you can do with tablecloths. I mean, I don't know if you can go to Dollar Tree and find these, you can take a look at them. I mean, I like the way they look, the turtles. I like turtles. I like sea creatures. So I'm just going to clean up the sign and cut anything that's hanging over the sides. So I want to add some color to the sign. So I grabbed three different colors, moss, antique wax, and a little bit of burnt umber. I'm just going to dry brush a little bit on the sign because it was just too white. I really like the way this came out and you can add some like jute twine around the edges for like a border, but I chose not to do that. I like the way it was, it's very simple. And I think it's really adorable to place on a shelf or something like that. And that's pretty much it. And this is how it turned out. this one's going to be a mermaid sign this is going to be the last DIY and I grabbed a Dollar Tree mermaid and this little hook that comes with the shell I took apart because I'm going to use just the hooks and this little starfish from Dollar these all this stuff is from Dollar Tree I'm not going to use the glitter I thought I was and I grabbed this board from Dollar Tree I'm going to start off by painting the board with this light turquoise paint the darker turquoise paint I'm going to mix them both together So while that's drying, I'm going to work on the mermaid. I'm going to remove the starfish and the string. I'm going to start off by using this ivory paint. I'm going to paint the upper part of her body. I'm going to be using the color Trail Tan for her lower part of her body. This sign is perfect for like someone's bathroom if you're into like coastal or beach decor. You can hang your towels on the hooks or you can actually place this outside if you have like a pool and you want to place your pool towels. I mean there's a lot of options. After I paint it, I'm going to grab a baby wipe and just wipe off most of the paint because I don't want it that dark. So for her tail, I'm going to make it a little darker. I grab some dark green and a little bit of white and a little bit of blue. I'm going to be using these little mini shells that I got from Dollar Tree last year and all I'm going to do is place them on top of her lower part of her body where it looks like little fins and I'm going to like replace it with the shells. I started off by using the glue but it kind of got messy and so I started using the wood glue. So I'm going to take this trail beige paint and just kind of like dry brush around her body. I also added some around the fin area. I'm 
Now I'm going to grab those little blue starfish that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, when I was trying to pull it off the little clothespin, it kind of like broke a little bit. Um, but it's okay. I was able to fix it and I'm just going to place it right where the other starfish was. I grab the wood piece and paint it with the white paint and then I'm going to cut it because it's going to be for the, the sides of the sign. The sign that I painted and flip it over and I'm going to place down the little hooks. They came with little tiny screws so I'm just going to screw it right back into place. Now I'm going to grab the mermaid. I'm going to place the mermaid right on top of the board. I'm just going to place her down with some hot glue. Now I'm going to grab those side pieces that I cut and just going to hot glue them down at each end. Camera, I added a little white to the sign and I wanted it to look like you know, when the waves hit, you have the white caps. So I add a little white to it. I think this came out so stinking cute. I have a half bathroom downstairs that's all set up for like beach nautical decor. It fits perfect. To hang the sign, I just grabbed some nautical rope and just hot glued it to the back of the sign. And that's pretty much it. And this is how it turned out. Thank you all for joining me today and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Till next time guys I will see you. Bye bye.